Rumi Wakasa, Rumi Wakasa, is a character that appeared in only a few episodes, but has gained a lot of popularity among fans. The mystery surrounding her background still remains. But if anyone wants to get to know her better, we have gathered all the information about her for you. Wakasa Rumi real name is Rachel Asaka. Female. Age. 37 years. Currently working elementary teacher at Tayton Elementary School, but she was previously a bodyguard for Amanda Hughes. Wakasa Rumi. Appearance is a middle-aged woman. Tall. Slender. Wearing glasses and always prefers to cover up clothes. To cover the scars in her. Wakasa Rumi looks like a clumsy woman on the outside. Weak against the world. But in fact she is very intelligent and talented. More importantly. She often had sharp pains in her right eye. When thinking or having a bad premonition. But it seems like she will still cover up with friends to do some missions. He continued to serve as an assistant teacher at Tayton Elementary School. Plus. When it's critical. She still refuses to reveal herself. But they tend to prevent other people from entering a room or a relatively safe secret place in a clumsy and unintentional way. Then she will reveal her true identity and deal with the bad guys in a short time alone. But when others asked about her. They often replied that it was a coincidence mixed with some good fortune that the villain had fainted. Flashback to 17 years ago. Amanda Hughes is an American billionaire with connections to the US government and intelligence agencies. 17 years ago she met her previous Haneda Koji Majin to play chess together. Amanda already knew that someone was trying to kill her because there were rumors that she would run for the presidency. So she hired many bodyguards. One of the bodyguards was shot dead as he took cover and took the bullet instead. So Amanda adopted the bodyguard's daughter to raise and love her like a child. She was the current Wakasa Rumi. At that time, her name was Rachel Asaka, though this name probably wasn't her real name yet. Because Amanda said after her father died she was enrolled in the witness protection program. And has already changed the name and surname. When her father died, her mother died. And she also begged to be Amanda's bodyguard like her father did. So Amanda adopted and loved her like a daughter. Which Amanda also said that she is now as talented as her father. That means that she is very good. She has the ability to use weapons. And has excellent fighting skills. The date of the story is the day Kuroda Hio received a secret order from the chief to meet with Amanda. Which Amanda is supposed to be working with the Japanese police to take down Karasuma's black organization. Kuroda claims to have taken a vacation to watch a chess match. At that time, Kuroda was 33 years old and his hair was still black. Plus, he's also a special branch police officer. Amanda sits down to play chess with Hineda Koji. Rachel Asaka is only 20 years old at the time. But she serves as Amanda Hineda's personal bodyguard. Looked at Asaka curiously. And tells Amanda that Asaka is his type of woman. Agasa. Who saw that she often pressed on her right eye it has been revealed that it is a temporary loss of vision during stressful situations. The day after Amanda and Hineda finished playing chess together. Asaka. Who has been aware of strange things since playing chess can't contact other bodyguards that are about 10 people. Amanda. Who knew very well that an enemy would surely approach her. She deliberately keeps Asaka safe. By telling Asaka to pick up the important chess piece that was forgotten in Hineda Koji's room. Amanda actually didn't forget the chess piece. I just wanted to protect Asaka from the dangers that were about to happen to me more. And not long after Asaka left Rum and his gang come into Amanda's room and kill her using the silver bullet. Made by Hybara's parents Kuroda was thought by one of Ram's men to be one of Amanda's bodyguards. And therefore went to kill Kuroda as well but was hit by Kuroda until he fell down Kuroda feeling very abnormal so he went looking for Amanda. Asaka. Who was ordered by Amanda to bring chess pieces to Hineda's room. Was told by Hineda the truth that Amanda lied to Asaka to come here to protect Asaka. The rum department after giving Amanda the medicine to eat. He orders his subordinates to look for Asaka. 
thinking that Amanda will tell Asaka the organization's secret. So I came to look for Asaka. At Hineda Koji's room. The insanely clever Hineda finds out right away. So he lets Asaka hide and go get his people. Which he succeeded but both Hineda and Asaka knew that in a moment. Rum's people will definitely return to this room again. Hineda wants to protect Asaka. So he used an electric shocker to shock her and hide Asaka in the book compartment. At that moment, Hineda gave Asaka the Kaku chess piece. His lucky charm. And it's the same piece that Asaka always carries with him. After hiding Asaka on the bookshelf Rum and the others entered Hineda's room again. When Rum goes to grab it on the bookshelf Hineda mentions Karasuma Renya's name to distract Ram from the bookshelf. And after that, Rum orders his subordinates to attack Hineda. In order to extract the truth of where Asaka was hiding but Hineda refused to speak. Kuroda, who had found Amanda and found that she was dead, then informed the police and received the message that Amanda had left. Until thinking that Amanda's bodyguard probably in Hineda Koji's room so went out to find Ram. Who knows the police are coming and Hineda refuses to tell Asaka about it. Hineda uses silver bullet to kill him and leaves Hineda's room. Kuroda who came to find Asaka at Hineda Meiji's room followed by later after the black organization left. But came to find Hineda's body with the dying message he left behind then he meets Asaka hiding in a bookshelf. Makes Asaka think Kuroda it killed Hineda Meiji. So she swept in and broke the director's two ribs. The moment when the director was hit by Agassa's knee. He collapsed. His phone fell out. With a picture of Amanda's corpse causing Asaka to see and not be careful the director knocked her unconscious and put Asaka in her suitcase to take. Her out of the hotel. Rum. Who had left the hotel to flee the police followed the news closely. Knowing that the police had removed Amanda's body but still can't find Asaka until I realized that Asaka might have been hiding in Meiji's room on the bookshelf. So he led the group back to Hineda's room again. And it was at the same moment that Kuroda dragged out the bag that Asaka was carrying. But it's good that those people didn't think of it back then. But Rum's ingenuity after that immediately saw that Asaka is in that suitcase. Therefore ordered his subordinates to chase after the Kuroda's car at this point. If anyone is confused about how the organization can follow. That's because Kuroda put Asaka in the suitcase of the man in black. Where the man in black has prepared several suitcases to put Amanda's bodyguards there. And that suitcase has a GPS tracker on it. So it makes it a bit easier to follow. Called the people of the organization. They are smart and careful. After following the Kuroda's car, they chase each other. The Kuroda's car with Asaka was in a serious car crash, causing Kuroda to lie in a coma and stay in a police hospital for 10 years. While Asaka escapes, and the flashback of 17 years ago is all that's all. As for solving Conan's case related to the ding message left by Amanda. If disclosed when admin will hurry to update again. But what we do know is that Asaka or teacher Wakasa Rumi probably knows the deep secrets behind the black organization that she might accidentally be a favorite pawn or in the eradication of the black organization altogether. But Agasa wasn't the kind of person who would be pure white. It's going to be more gray. Because she can do anything to achieve her goals. According to the latest file, we can see that she is aware that she is being killed by Rum and the organization. But she decided to break Kobayashi's umbrella. To divert the eyes of the organization which. If the moment Kianti and Gon are shooting. Rum doesn't mind and interrupts. Muz. Kobayashi spreads Muz. Wakasa's umbrella. Must have been shot to death. At that time. Like teacher Wakasa intending to use Kobayashi as a bait to let himself know the enemy's ambush and shoot back. At this point. I'm not sure if it has any plans that viewers like us don't know yet or not. But still have to continue to follow each other. If you like this clip. Don't forget to press follow and like for us too.